Today, cyber criminals are actively targeting governments, businesses, and individuals. From around the globe, they are searching for any exploitable weakness as a point of access or leverage. This criminal activity has become a business where hundreds of millions of dollars are extorted annually. Imagine you are an information system owner. You know that cybersecurity is important and want to mitigate risks that could be hiding in your system. You scrape together some money and hire cybersecurity consultants. They analyze your system, identifying vulnerabilities and problems that need to be addressed. After they're done, they come to your desk and slap down a comprehensive report. The consultants did a good job, but your cybersecurity money is spent and nothing has been fixed. We suggest a different approach. In this video, we will be introducing you to CSET, the Cybersecurity Self-Evaluation Tool. The main aim of CSET is to enable you to establish a list of priorities to focus your cybersecurity efforts and resources. Before you hire a consultant or your own organization begins to tackle your cybersecurity problems, bring your team together and perform a CSET assessment. Then, when you hire a consultant, you can give them a to-do list and say, this is where we want to get started. CSET is a self-contained software tool that can run on a desktop or a laptop computer. Each year, it is downloaded by tens of thousands of users throughout the United States and around the world. CSET is offered at no cost to end users. Although users may elect to share assessments results, CSET does not actively transmit any information to DHS or any government or commercial entity. It does not scan your network. It only reports information to the person using the tool. For the last 15 years, the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, and Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, have overseen CSET. The software development team resides at the Idaho National Laboratory, INL, a nationally recognized cybersecurity leader for the last 20 years. Before we begin, let's do a quick evaluation. Do you know if your business will be able to withstand a cyber attack? Do you know what your cybersecurity vulnerabilities are? What are your most important cybersecurity priorities? Do you know if you are spending your limited cybersecurity dollars in the most efficient and effective way possible? CSET can help you answer these questions. CSET contains several types of assessments that guide users through a series of probing questions to evaluate their cybersecurity practices. These questions are based on industry-recognized best practices and standards. Currently, CSET contains 48 different best practices and standards. Each standard has been decomposed into simple English questions. The exact language of the standard is also available if needed. The high-level steps in the assessment process are Organize the team Select your type of assessment Select the appropriate level of rigor Answer questions And finally, analyze results Let us show you CSET and give you an overview of the ease of use of the software. Once installation has completed, open the application. Users will then be prompted to either start a new assessment or import an existing assessment. Before proceeding, take note of the various options on this page. The CSET homepage, the Tools dropdown, the Resource Library, the Help, and User Profile. The CSET Home button opens the user's landing page. The Tools button opens the Tools menu and provides options outside of the assessment process. The Resource Library opens the Resource Library in a new tab and contains a variety of standards, reports, templates, white papers, plans, and other cybersecurity-related documents. The Help button opens the Help menu and provides access to help documentation and user guides for the tool. The User Profile button opens the User Profile menu and will display the username, provides access to view user profile information and their assessments. At the start of a new assessment, select New Assessment on the CSET landing page, which will automatically bring you to the Assessment Configuration screen under Prepare. 
In this section, you'll need to enter information that identifies the facility being assessed. Once you begin the assessment, you'll notice the assessment is broken down into three distinct sections, Prepare, Assessment, and Results. The Prepared tab in Menu allows quick access to the Assessment Preparation screen. The Assessment tab in Menu allows quick access to the Assessment Statements and Categories. The Results tab in Menu allows quick access to the Maturity Assessment Results and Reports. At the bottom of this page, provision is made for different assessment options. Each option comprises of a set of features that will be used to perform an assessment. Options are Maturity Model, Standard, and Network Diagram-Based Assessments. A maturity model-based approach is intended to help organizations determine their cybersecurity maturity and establish a baseline. A cybersecurity maturity approach does not look at specific vulnerabilities, but reflects the general level of an organization's people, processes, and technologies with respect to cybersecurity. Some of the maturity models contained within this tool are CMMC, EDM, CRR, and the Ransomware Readiness Assessment. For this example, we will select the Ransomware Readiness Model. Selecting Standard will enable the user to select specifically which industry standards are to be included in the assessment. The Standards-based approach is intended to help identify vulnerabilities and mitigations based on industry standards and best practices. When using this option, you will be presented with a list of questions that identify vulnerabilities or potential mitigations. Examples of Standards-based approach are HIPAA, NIST SP 800-53, PCI DSS, CFATS, and NERC. Selecting Network Diagram provides access to draw a visual representation of a computer network. The user may select components and display how they interact, including routers, devices, hubs, firewalls. This information will then be used to create a tailored questionnaire from your network diagram. This also helps to define the scope of the assessment. For this example, we will not be selecting a network diagram. Now complete the information on the Assessment Information page. Use drop-down values where applicable. Continue by selecting Next. As we have selected the Ransomware Readiness Assessment, we will be provided with the Ransomware Readiness Tutorial. This tutorial provides general information on how questions should be answered, as well as helpful links and explanations of help icons found on each question. Continue by selecting Next. Now, select the appropriate level of rigor for the assessment. Selecting medium, high, or very high will incrementally increase the number and detail level of questions being asked. Continue by selecting Next. As we have selected to be additionally assessed based on a standard, the Standards page will open providing the user options of industry standards. Spend some time looking at all these standards and select only the ones applicable to your business or industry. For this example, we will select the NIST 800-53 standard. Continue by clicking Next. Now let's proceed to answering questions. When expanding a section, additional information pertaining to the section will be displayed under each subheading. The user also needs to make a decision between the mode of the assessment. Requirements mode will provide users with verbatim requirements from the standard, whereas the questions mode will provide users with requirements translated into simple English. Depending on the type of assessment, questions may have yes, no, NA for not applicable, or ALT for alternative possible responses, or may be marked for further review if you would like to return to a question at a later stage. Once all the questions and requirements have been addressed, it is time to see the results of the assessment. Results may be accessed by navigating to the Results tab.
The analysis dashboard provides a quick overview of the assessment scores and an overall aggregate. This report provides the assessment overall score as a percentage. In addition, it provides a ranked order of categories that should be receiving attention first to shore up your organization's cybersecurity posture. This graph indicates which categories need the most attention and which are increasing your organization's cyber vulnerabilities. In this example, policies and plans should be prioritized. Control priorities is one of the most important outputs of the assessment. It provides, ranked by importance, which specific control should get attention first, second, etc. In addition to results, there are also a set of reports based on the type of assessment and specific standard selected. As an example, the executive summary reports on selected standard and question sets and points to specific areas of concern. Next, view the reports. Although not all available results and reports were viewed in this discussion, the intent of reporting is to provide a clear path for improvement per category or goal. This is intended to help an organization improve by focusing on the basics first and then progressing by implementing practices through the intermediate and advanced categories. This has been an overview of the CSET Cybersecurity Tool. Detailed tutorials are also available as help guides. CSET is available as a free download from GitHub. For further information, contact your CISA representative.